The genome in mitochondria, the cell's energy-producing organelles, is involved in disease and key biological functions, and the ability to precisely alter this DNA would allow scientists to learn more about the effects of these genes and mutations. But the precision editing technologies that have revolutionized DNA editing in the cell nucleus have been unable to reach the mitochondrial genome. Now, a team at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard and the University of Washington School of Medicine has broken this barrier with a new type of molecular editor that can make precise C** G to T** and nucleotide changes in mitochondrial DNA. The editor, engineered from a bacterial toxin, enables modeling of disease-associated mitochondrial DNA mutations, opening the door to a better understanding of genetic changes associated with cancer, aging, and more. The work is described in Nature, with co-first authors Beverly Mock, a graduate student from the Broad Institute and Harvard University, and Marcos de Moraes, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Washington, UW. The work was jointly supervised by Joseph Mugus, UW professor of microbiology and an investigator at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, HHMI, and David Liu, the Richard Merkin professor and director of the Merkin Institute of Transformative Technologies in Healthcare at the Broad Institute, P. The team has developed a new way of manipulating DNA and used it to precisely edit the human mitochondrial genome for the first time, to our knowledge, providing a solution to a long-standing challenge in molecular biology, said Liu. The work is a testament to collaboration in basic and applied research, and may have further applications beyond mitochondrial biology. Agent of bacterial warfare Most current approaches to studying specific variations in mitochondrial DNA involve using patient-derived cells, or a small number. But these methods pose major limitations, and creating new, defined models has been impossible, said co-author Vamsi Mutha, institute member and co-director of the Metabolism Program at Broad. Mutha is also an HHMI investigator and professor of medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital. Advertisement While CRISPR-based technologies can rapidly and precisely edit DNA in the cell nucleus, greatly facilitating model creation for many diseases, these tools haven't been able to edit mitochondrial DNA because they rely on a guide RNA to target a location in the genome. The mitochondrial membrane allows proteins to enter the organelle, but is not known to have accessible pathways for transporting RNA. One piece of a potential solution arose when the Mugus lab identified a toxic protein made by the pathogen Burkholderia senescephacia. This protein can kill other bacteria by directly changing cytosine C to uracil U in double-stranded DNA. Thanks for watching. Do you like my video? Then show me your love by pressing like button. Please subscribe my channel and hit bell icon for new technology updates. Bye bye.